Welcome back everybody. This is Eric from Mall Spawn and Gun. And um, today we're gonna be um, shooting a Ruger 1022 at 440 yards. And uh, this is my little Keystone rig that we put together. You probably saw the uh, other video where we did some uh, preliminary accuracy testing with the rig. Um, it's a very neat setup. It's got the uh, Revolution stock on it, a uh, Volkortsen uh, drop-in trigger uh, pack that uses your existing uh, trigger mechanism. We got our neat little extended uh, magazine release on the bottom. Um, you probably saw it in the other video, but we've got their uh, Keystone Arms target barrel. It's got a modified bench chamber. Um, very, very cool setup. It's got the fluted barrel. Um, from the last video, we've made a little bit of modifications to the gun. We ended up uh, having a little bit of contact on the stock that we had to uh, kind of sand down a little bit to break some of that contact. Um, Floating 1022 barrels can be a little bit different than floating like a traditional rifle barrel. You do want some minor amount of contact in some areas. Uh, we'll probably discuss in a future video. Uh, we'll show you a little bit about this rig and some of the things that we've done to uh, improve the accuracy a little bit. Uh, we're running a Trigicon 3 to 9 by 40. Um, this is one of those very nice scopes, very nice setup. Uh, but we're going to shoot a little bit at 440. We're running just some uh, Federal Auto Match target ammo. Let's uh, see if we can connect with that gong a few times. Uh, it's a 24 inch gong, so not a very small gong, but um, just to go to show the inherent accuracy potential of a rig like this. Uh, the nice thing about this rig in general as well is that you don't really have to spend a ton of money to get a nice Ruger 1022. Um, you know, you see that with a few of these basic upgrades, you can really get a nice rig. Uh, the trigger is tuned down to about three and a half pounds, which is about where I like to keep it on most of my general purpose rifles. Uh, so let's shoot this little thing and see what it'll do. We figured out the uh, dope we needed earlier, and uh, we determined that the bullet drops about 26 feet. So uh, that's going to be a bit of a trek here. Let's try it. All right, let's see if we can do another string like that. These Ruger 1022s are very consistent guns once you get your point of aim down. Now, obviously, I mean, shooting 440 yards is a long way for a lot of guns, but especially for a 22. Uh, 26 feet of uh, elevation can really equate to uh, quite a, a bit of, uh, you know, dope to have to dial into the scope. Uh, we are running just a standard Ruger carbine base. Um, these things are just neat and it, it's fun to get out there and challenge yourself and sometimes it's going to require a little bit of playing around to get the gun to do what you want it to at a range like this but um, it's really neat to just play with it and we just kind of wanted to showcase how accurate uh, these keystone barrels can be uh, especially considering the price of the barrels is considerably cheaper what you expect to pay um, you know from some of the more expensive brands I mean sometimes uh, paying a lot of money doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna always get a wonderful result, but at least with um, some of the components that are out there for the Ruger 1022, you can really get a lot of uh, bang for your buck. Let's try another string, see if we can lob them in there. I've got a bird up in the tree back there holding up a sign for me. Amen.
Sounds like a little miniature, uh, you know, Viking down there hitting the uh, gong with a little itty bitty hammer, like a little handheld Viking, a little itty bitty midget Viking. It's going tink, tink. But uh, yeah, it lobs them in there. Uh, Chad, you want to try? Yeah, I'll give it a go. All right, cool. All right, Chad's going to have a go on the Keystone rig himself. Uh, we were getting some very good accuracy out of the rig earlier. We were shooting some uh, of the uh, Lapua Midas Plus uh, match ammo, and we we're getting some very nice groups. We'll probably uh, visit um, this rifle again with another range session later. We're also going to make a video uh, showcasing some of the things that we uh, did to correct some of the issues with the rig. But uh, go ahead, Chad. We're going to try it at 440 here. Good shot, Chad. Good. You're on it. Keep doing it. That one looks like it went maybe just a shred high. There you go. Good shot. You hit just uh, below the gong, about a foot. Bring your point of aim up. I think you might have had just one round there. It was a little weak, and that was the only reason it fell short. But yeah. your uh, windish was perfect. Ammo's not too bad. Eh, it's all right. It's fairly consistent for what it is. Cool. All right, as an end of this video, we've uh, we got one of the employees from Keystone down hanging out today, and he's going to take a few shots with the Cricket uh, to show us that the Cricket rifle can connect at 440 yards. So let's, uh, let's see how well that works out. He's actually running the little uh, Cricket scope. Uh, with just a basic uh, cricket rifle, so we'll see how he does. Give it a little bit of windage. Just take a drag. Take it to the left. There you go. <laughs> Camera down. Look at that. <laughs> Man. That little joker puts him out there. Couldn't have missed by much. Got your point of aim, Matthew? Yeah. Cool. I think that one's going well. Yeah, I think that, that auto match ammo. Good yeah, shot. Right not quite as consistent as uh, some of the other brands, but for a bolt packaging, it's not too bad. Good shot. Good shot. You got time to go drink a cup of coffee waiting on the sound to come back. Good shot. <laughs> no pressure. Good shot. That's all we got air to chew on some ammo. Yeah. Shut up and work. Back to work. Good shot. Damn, this kid's a hell of a shot. Are you going to have him down in September? Yeah, I think we can.
Good shot. Well, Matthew here don't uh, play around. He knows his product really well. Good shot. That's what I'm talking about. With a cricket. With a cricket. Ooh, that wind's kicking up. Yeah, it is. Well, this ain't Kentucky. This is Georgia, so you have to add that Georgia wind. Yeah, Georgia wind is different than Kentucky now. You got to factor in that cow flatulence down here, too. Good shot. Good. Putting them in there, isn't he? Well, uh, Matthew, you're a hell of a shot with your uh, little Keystone Arms cricket there. So, um, tell you what, we're going to do a little challenge. Right. It's easy to do from the bench. Yeah. We'll give you three shots offhand, and if you can hit that gong if within any of those three shots, I'm going to give you one of my check flare pistols. It's going to be fun. Does that sound like fun? Yeah, it does. Yeah, these things are awesome. They're a uh, check surplus, you know, just a good old military flare gun, uh, 26 and a half millimeter. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, how about a little challenge to end the video? Let's do that. <laughs> All right, let's finish out the video. One more shot. Oh. Now how was I supposed to know if I hit that? <laughs> I think you hit it, we just couldn't hear it because of the flare. How was I supposed to know if I hit that or not? <laughs> All right, well, Matthew proved that he's a really good shot behind the uh, little cricket there. You know, those little guns aren't a joke. They really uh, sling them in there quite well. And uh, Matthew is one of the younger employees up at Keystone. Works there on, during the summer, but uh, he couldn't quite uh, connect offhand, but that's okay. We're still gonna give him a flare gun. Thank you. All right, so uh, send him home with a nice check flare gun. Uh, Matthew here's a surplus nut like myself. He uh, brought along an infield today and he was telling me about a couple of the other surplus guns he's got. So. Uh, you know, we definitely want to support people there in the surplus world. So, appreciate you coming down, man. Yeah, thank you. All right, you. you enjoy yourself today? Yeah, I had a great time. All right, well, it's really neat to see what those little guns will do, and uh, maybe we'll come up there to the factory and peruse it yeah, a bit. Sounds Sound good? good. Cool, man. All right. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching.